Hello, hello, I sorry I didn't do an episode yesterday. I woke up too late to do it. I wanted to do an episode before 11 and slept half the day instead. Oops. Oh, back again today. WV, give present! Hooray! To Miss Mail Lady. <laughs> Jade, gracefully fly to the other golden tower. You decide to check on your neighbour. Jade, inspect neighbour's tower. It is very much the same as your own. The only difference is that this one is home to a young boy instead of a young girl. You peer through the window. Wow, that's not good if he's, you know... <sighs> that goddamn doll. <laughs> <laughs> Full bar, I'm kid. Yeah, that's his drawing. Say, he drew when he was asleep. John is, of course, sound asleep. It looks like he is having troubled dreams, as usual. You cannot disturb his slumber, though. He will wake up when he is ready. Speaking of John, you wonder if he got the birthday present you sent him, or, for that matter, if you even remembered to send it. Done. You get so confused sometimes. If only you had some system in place to help you remember things. Your moon is getting very close to sky up. You had better go inside soon. It is never a very good thing to be... Uh, it's never a very good idea to be outside during the eclipse. Maybe you could take the opportunity to log on to your computer and ask John about his present. You just know he will think it is awesome, and it will be a great way to thank him for the wonderful presents he got you. John, alchemize in the 1980s time lights montage. <laughs> you can forget there's 1980s time montages. That would be pretty cool, and will promote the appearance to the audience that a whole lot was getting done in not much time, but it also sounds like kind of a pain in the ass, so you decide to play it straight up this time. Rose has moved the Alchemeter back down to the deck while she... Deck. <laughs> while she reworks the building project up there. Just as well, because it will save you a lot of legwork. Between this thing, the, des the designics and the lathe, that's a whole lot of scrambling around. John, recombine hammer and pogo ride. Hammer head pogo ride. Five build grease, twenty shale. Huh. This time, instead of overlapping and the two cars which created the pogo hammer, you use the two coast double punch or I'm pretty sure that's all. A black, a blank card producing a different hole pattern. The result is the Hammerhead Pogo Ride. It doesn't look like it's as much fun as the original ride, but to be fair, it's probably a lot safer. <laughs> Double punchy cards create patterns with more holes rather than less holes. By overlapping cards, this strikes you as a viable method for combining more than two items without whittling down to too few holes. Oh, too many. Just mix up the overlaps and double punches and the sky's the limit. John, combine ghost shirt and suit. The green lost slime, ghost suit. Three, bill grist, one shell. Snappy, John. You made the green slime ghost suit. Pretty swanky, but you were not completely satisfied with the wardrobe upgrade yet. John, combine ghost suit and wise guy book. Wise guy slime suit. One Bill Grist, five shale, ten tar. Wait, yeah, tar. I think that's tar. <laughs> you make the wise guy slime suit. This is so much better. It seems there are a lot of secret tricks, three gimmicks concealed in. Oh shit, there go the cars. Yep, there go the cars, George. <laughs> John combine glasses and PDA. The serious business goals. Six Bill Grist, three tar, six Mercury. Pretty sure that's Mercury. 
You make the serious business goggles. This is a pretty nice hands-free communication solution and it makes you look way cooler. Like one of those kids from Spy Kids or something. God, that was a good movie. Real spies, only smaller. John combines sledgehammer, telescope, and Sasaka text. Telescopic Sasa Crusher. 250 shale, 10 tar, 50 mercury. Wow. You make the telescopic Sasa Crusher. Sasa Crusher, blah. At a pretty considerable expense. This thing could probably pound an ogre in the crude burger. Of course, you have no hope of lifting it whatsoever. Oh, don't worry, John. All you have to wait is for your um, grit to go up. Is it, is it just me, or does that have the pattern for life on it? All over it. <laughs> John combined gushes of blue ectoplasm. Palacious blue phlegm aneurysm gushes. 24 bill gris, 30 shale, 18 mercury. What? You mix your gushes with some of the blue slime now left on the wall to make a box of palacious blue phlegm aneurysm gushes. With ghostly healing properties. Ooh. If these should be convenient if somewhat appetite. These should be convenient if somewhat appetite. Whoa, okay, that worked. John combined fake arm and blue ectoplasm and PDA. We make ghost gauntlet. 32 bill grist, 128 tar. Wow. You make the remote ghost gauntlet. Looks like when you put on special computer gloveless, you control the big slimy ghost hand. The ghost gauntlet appears to have considerably higher lift capacity than your APRs. Ugh. I'm yawning. Junk combined ghost gauntlet and bathroom mirror. <laughs> left handed remote ghost gauntlet. 32 bill grist, 128 times. I think that's tar. I can't remember. You make a left hand remote ghost gauntlet to complete the pair. Because you don't see why the hell not. John could buy an umbrella and a straight razor. Barber's best friend. Two shale, eight mercury. And John has a perfectly serviceable deadly weapon right there. <laughs> you make the barber's best friend. It only seems worthwhile for you to go nab that umbrella kind strife specimen that's been lying in the stay for a while. <sighs> that was one of the imps, if I remember. <laughs> John combined gushes and shaving cream. A Betty Crocker Barbasol bomb. One Bill Grease, one shale. You make a deadly Betty Crocker Barbasol bomb. Be careful with that thing. Jesus. John combined ghost dad poster with... You yeah, retarded dead father. Okay, you have a cool idea for something to do with your ghost dad poster, but it looks like you drew shit all over that one too without realising it. Lousy goddamn stupid subconscious. Anyway, you think you have an idea how to clean it up. John Capture Log Punch Heath Ledger Joke Figurine. Which will make either a potted plant for one Bill Grist. That goddamn horse rugby player. I think that's rugby. I have no idea. No, it wouldn't be rugby. Well, way too much bloody protective gear there. Uh, 
um, for 425 Mercury or the Ghost Dad poster. One build, one shell. <laughs> if you could somehow subtract the code for the Joker figurine from the code of the poster, it might work. Luckily, the Joker code only holds, uh, only has two holes, making tasks very simple. The defaced Cosby poster shares those holes. You determine that the defaced Cosby, Cosby po could only result from a double punching with the Joker. If your theory is correct, this means the original Cosby poster has one of those holes punched or the other or neither. Make your three total possibilities. You try out all three possibility codes, yielding one potted plant, one painting of a horse attacking a football player, football, yeah. One clean Cosby poster success. John, combine Cosby poster with computer. Cosby top computer. 30 build, 10 shale. You make a co the Cosby top computer. This thing is probably a useless piece of shit. Okay. But making it has caused you to feel an alarming sense of satisfaction. John combined Dad's hat and problem suit game. Fedora plus candy corn. Five build. Grist. Make another ordinary fedora with four pieces of candy corn inside. Welcome to the Midnight Crew. <laughs> Combine Hammer and Problem Sleuth games. Problem Sleuth game. My god, I'm having trouble saying the word sleuth. Question mark. 30 Bilgris, 90 god knows what, 6,000 Mercury, 180,000 who the hell knows, and one what the hell is that? Whatever this item is, you cannot make it yet. It requires a latest amount of grist, some types of which you have not even encountered. John, combine Iron and Pogo Hammer. The wrinkle fucker. 55 Bilgrist, 44 Shale, 66 Tar. I'm sure that's Tar, I can't be sure. You make the wrinkle fucker. Yes. Yeah, it's a goddamn fedora on the thing. Oh, it's John's arm. You want to run doing there, Don? You can tell by blue. So much sweet loot. You almost think it was simultaneously your birthday and Christmas or something. <laughs> of course, you know that the, that is ridiculous and could never conceivably happen. Dave Strife. Final round. Strike. <laughs> I like how Bro literally um, scratched the record on Dave's shirt. That's ridiculous. But funny. Turn to take Godhead, begin pestering Ectobiologist EB. Bro just kicked my ass. That's really all there is to say on the matter. And I'm going to stop it here.